This website is built with Python. So is this Mario game and this stream panel. They're all possible because of the new product of Anaconda, PyScript. With PyScript, we can run Python scripts directly in the browser, make dynamic web pages, and even do data science projects. So today we're gonna see how we can use PyScript. Also in the end, I'm gonna show you a dashboard that I built with PyScript for Twitter sentiment analysis. This is the website of PyScript, and we can see over here how we can download or install it. So the easiest way that we can use PyScript is just to try install. And we see over here that actually we don't need to install anything. We should just put these two lines in our HTML code to be able to use PyScript. Now to run our first clip, I click over here to go to the GitHub page of this project. Then down here, I copy the hello world example. Now in my code editor, I make a new file and call it index.html and paste the code over here. I then save the file. Over here in the head section, we see the two lines that make it possible for us to use PyScript. And in the body section, we have this PyScript element that wraps our Python code. And for now, it's just a simple print statement. Now to see the result, I right click on the HTML file and choose reveal in finder. So this is the folder that has the HTML file that we just made. And after opening it, I will see the hello world statement printed out over here. Of course, we can run much more complex Python codes and even easily import standard Python modules. So let's say instead of a simple print statement, I want to write a code that prints out the time for me. So first I wanted to organize the code a bit better by using indentations. Now inside the PyScript element, I type from date time import date time and then time equal to date time dot now then I just print the time so I do print time dot strf time and then I put the hour and then the minute and then the second I then save the file now if I go back to the browser and refresh the page we see that we get the time over here so far, we only had one PyScript tag and printed out only one statement into the web page. We can instead use the write module of PyScript to write into labeled HTML elements. To see this, before the PyScript element, I make a new paragraph with a P tag. Then I type the time is, and then to give the time, I make a span tag and put its ID equal to time. So this span element is the one that I will use to print out the output of the Python code. Then for the Python code, instead of printing out the time, I write PyScript.write and this gets two inputs. The first one is the element that we want to write the output to, which is time. And the second one is the result. So I copy this one over here and remove the print set. Now, if I save the file and go to the browser, and then refresh the page, we should get the result, which is the time is, and then we see the time. In addition to standard Python modules, we can also use many other third-party packages with PyScript. For example, we can use NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and so many other packages. I put the link to this list below the like button so you can check it out. Now, in order to use these packages, we need to first list them in the head section. So let's say we want to use matplotlib and numpy. So in the head section, I make a py env element and then list the packages. So I write numpy and also matplotlib. For the code, I want to make the plot of a sine wave. So I make a new paragraph in the body section and write below is a sign plot. Then to show the plot, I make a div element and set the ID equal to plot. Inside the PyScript element, I then type import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import numpy as np then i write x equal to np dot a range i go from 0 to 4 pi so np pi 
and then I make the interval at 0 0.1. Then I write y equal to np.sign of x. I then make a subplot. So I type fig and x equal to plt.subplots. Then I plot x and y. So I write ax.plot x and y. And then I write the plot into the div element. So I write pi script dot write into plot and I write fig. Now I save the file and again when we refresh the web page we will see the sign plot. Although we can write our Python code inside this PyScript element, we already see that it's hard to write more complex code because we are putting all of our Python code inside the HTML file. We can organize our code better by moving all the Python code into a separate file. To do this, I cut all the Python code over here, then make a new file and call it main.py and paste the code over here. Now let me take care of the indentation over here. Okay, I now save the file. Then back in my HTML code, I remove all of these spaces. And then I set the source of the PyScript tag as the main.py file. Now I save the code over here. And then I refresh the web page to see the results. So we see we're getting an error over here. To solve this, we should use a web server. To make a web server, I'll go back to the Visual Studio and make a new terminal. Then I type python3 dash m http dot server now we have a web server on port 8000 so i go back to my browser and then over here i type local host colon 8000 which is the port that we have and then we see that everything is working and we see the sine wave over here one other thing we can do is to import another local python file inside the main file so let's say I go to the main file and then cut all of this code to move it to another file. Now I make a new file and call it plot underlined demo.py. Then I paste all the code over here and I create a new function over here and call it plot underline sign and then move all of this code inside this function and then in the end I return our figure. So now I save the file. Then inside the main file, I write from plot underline demo import plot underline sign. And then to write into the plot element instead of figure, I just call this plot sign function. After saving, if I reload again the web page over here, we will get an error. This is because we have to tell PyScript to import this local file. So I go back to the HTML code and then inside the pyenv tag, I write paths colon and then over here we give the list of all the local files that we want to use. I write plot underline demo.py. Now I save the code and when we reload the page, we will get the result that we want. With PyScript, we can easily make also a REPL and type and run the Python code directly in the browser. For this, we will use the PyREPL tag. So in my HTML code, after the PyScript tag, I just type py-REPL and then I set auto generate equal to true. Then I save the file and reload the web page. So we see we get a REPL over here. Now I can easily type, for example, print two plus three and get the result over here. We can also use the local functions that we wrote. So if I write plot sign, we will get the sine wave over here. So now we have a good idea how to run Python code directly in the browser. There are also other examples that show the power of PyScript. You can check them out on the GitHub page of the project or directly from this website. So over here, there are different examples of PyScript, like 
a dashboard of the taxi data set of the New York City. It takes a bit of time for the web page to get loaded. Over here, we can change different parameters and even press this play button to see the data set over different hours. We also have an interactive dashboard for k-means clustering of a data set. And then over here, we can select the data set in the plot and we see that the table is getting updated based on the selection. So I got inspired by this example and made a dashboard for Twitter sentiment analysis. So the dashboard that I made is for sentiment analysis of tweets related to Apple products. So over here, we see if these tweets over time are positive, negative, or neutral. We can choose which type of tweets we want to see over time and then zoom in on a specific date. And we can also select the tweets, then the table gets updated based on our selection. Please let me know down in the comment section if you want to see a tutorial for this. Thanks for watching.